history just shifted in a way nobody saw coming. For the first time ever, a supersonic EV jet has been priced at just $75,999. Think about that for a second, because right now, the average price of a 4-6 to six seat electric jet is over a million dollars. That massive gap just got shattered. And it wasn't by some small aviation startup nobody has heard of. No, this was Tesla's new super electric plane, the boldest new project to finally emerge in Elon Musk's next master plan. The moment the FAA loosened restrictions on private electric aircraft, Musk didn't wait around, he moved instantly. Today we're staring straight at a triple breakthrough that feels almost unreal, a propulsion system with insane efficiency, adaptive wings that literally reshape themselves midair, and a cockpit design so futuristic that even veteran pilots are calling it, the beginning of the future. Before we dive in, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. Don't be the last one catching up, join the insiders now. Now let's get into this, because what Tesla is revealing is more than just new technology. It's the opening chapter of a new era in transportation. So, how does Tesla's propulsion system achieve efficiency gains of 347% over traditional aircraft? Well, it starts with something that aviation hasn't seen since the jet engine revolution, distributed electric propulsion paired with electromagnetic thrust vectoring. Instead of depending on one or two giant engines, Tesla's plane uses an array of 23 compact, independently controlled electric motors. These are stretched across the wings and fuselage like a hidden orchestra, working together in perfect harmony. Each motor is featherlight, just 47 pounds, yet delivers 37 horsepower. Add them all up and you've got 847 horsepower at your disposal with redundancy levels so high, engine failure is practically irrelevant. Here's where it gets even spicier, electromagnetic thrust vectoring. Regular aircraft use control surfaces, flaps and rudders, to maneuver, and that creates drag every single time they move. Tesla ditches that. Instead, the system literally manipulates electromagnetic fields to redirect thrust instantly, with zero drag. Imagine pulling a zero-radius turn midair or transitioning from horizontal to vertical flight like it's nothing. That's no longer science fiction. That's now Tesla science. And power management. It's handled by Tesla's adaptive energy distribution network, monitoring every motor 14,000 times per second. The system dynamically channels power depending on whether you're climbing, cruising, or descending. During takeoff, vertical thrust gets priority. During cruising, it balances for minimum energy consumption. And during descent, the entire system switches roles, motors turn into generators, pulling energy back into the batteries. The result? A single landing can recover up to 127 kilowatts, which is enough juice for another 23 minutes of flight. This is why Tesla claims 347% efficiency. Regular combustion engines waste nearly three quarters of their fuel as heat. But Tesla's system hits 94% efficiency from battery to propeller, losing only 6% to heat. Add in regenerative energy capture and drag free thrust vectoring, and you're looking at something aviation has never had before usable energy that outpaces energy input over an entire flight cycle. That's why Tesla is openly saying this propulsion system doesn't just move aircraft, it actually harvests energy from the air itself. Drop the word, 347%, in the comments if you think conventional engines are now officially obsolete. But propulsion is only part of the story. Tesla didn't stop there, they went after aerodynamics too. And this is where adaptive wings come into play. Imagine wings that behave like software. Flexible, responsive, and completely reprogrammable midair. Tesla's adaptive wing system uses 127 electromagnetic actuators embedded inside carbon fiber structures that bend and morph in real time. During takeoff, the wings increase camber by 8.7 degrees and expand their effective area by 23%. That boost allows takeoff at just 47 knots instead of 67. In real-world terms, you can lift off in under 1,400 feet of runway instead of nearly 2,400. That opens up more than 12,000 small airports worldwide that were previously off-limits to traditional aircraft. More airports, more access, more freedom. When it's time to cruise, the wings smoothly shift again, reducing drag by 64%. 
drag coefficient drops from 0.087 down to just 0.031. This isn't a tweak, it's a revolution. It's like switching from pushing a brick through the air to slicing through it with a scalpel. The result? Extended range, reduced energy burn, and near-silent glide efficiency. And here's where things get almost unreal. The wings can adapt faster than turbulence even reaches the pilot. With over 247 pressure sensors scattered across the wing, the system reads micro-shifts in airflow and corrects instantly. Pilots won't even feel the bumps. It's like flying in weatherproof mode. Now stop for a second and imagine, wings that change shape in fractions of a second to respond to the atmosphere. What does, limitation, even mean anymore in aircraft design? Type, Tesla wings, in the chat if you think this just rewrote aviation forever. But we can't skip the cockpit. This isn't just about wings and propulsion, it's about the human connection to the machine. Tesla is introducing something that may honestly be the boldest of all, a Neuralink cockpit interface. Instead of levers, yokes, and slow human reaction times, pilots literally control the plane through neural feedback. Signals are read from the nervous system before your muscles even move, and those signals translate directly into control. Reaction time drops from 0.23 seconds to just 0.003. That's near-instant human-to-machine fusion. The cockpit overlays critical flight data directly onto the pilot's vision using augmented reality. No more darting between instruments and outside visuals, altitude, airspeed, navigation, even air traffic data all appear naturally in your field of view. This gives pilots 360-degree awareness that normal human eyesight could never achieve. And it doesn't stop there. Tesla's predictive AI assistant anticipates pilot actions nearly four seconds before the pilot even realizes what they need to do. If turbulence is coming, the system adjusts power and stabilizers before anyone feels the shake. If fatigue creeps in, brain activity monitoring recognizes it and temporarily takes over routine tasks, freeing the pilot's focus for what really matters. Emergencies? Detected 47 seconds earlier than conventional systems, with subtle guidance provided as if it were the pilot's own intuition. The cockpit doesn't replace humans, it enhances them. It makes pilots faster, sharper, and more capable than ever before. And if you thought Tesla was only building a plane, think again. They're actually laying down the framework for something even bigger, the atmospheric highway system. Forget roads, forget congested highways. Picture the sky itself being divided into layered lanes, 500 feet apart, stretching from just above city rooftops to 18,000 feet up. Personal EV planes at low altitude, commercial flights higher, and long-distance transit at the top. Instead of a single control tower shouting directions at dozens of planes, Tesla's sky grid lets aircraft negotiate routes with each other in real time using AI. This system processes 2.7 million possible flight path combinations every second to avoid collisions, minimize energy use, and ensure smooth flows. The economics are mind-blowing too. A single mile of ground highway costs $4.2 million to build. Tesla's atmospheric highways. Just distributed charging stations every 67 miles. Each costing $147,000. To cover the entire continental US would take about $617 million total. That's nothing compared to the $1.7 trillion needed for equivalent ground infrastructure. And charging? These aren't just superchargers, they're hyperchargers built for aviation. They'll add 400 miles of range in just 12 minutes, powered not only by the grid but also by wind and solar collectors integrated into each hub. That means rural airports, islands, mountain towns, everybody gets connected. Urban life will change completely. With three-dimensional transport, cities instantly free up 67% of their congested roads. Parking lots vanish because planes can be summoned instead of parked. Land that's currently wasted on concrete becomes usable for housing, parks, or businesses. Entire economies shift as rural and isolated regions suddenly become accessible as easily as big cities. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want to commute across the country in a straight line, no traffic, no tolls, no waiting? This isn't science fiction anymore. It's Tesla.
Oh, and before we continue, if you're loving this vision of the future, don't forget to hit subscribe right now so you never miss these first drops of revolutionary tech. We're only scratching the surface of what's coming. Because this wasn't just a product reveal. It was a signal. A signal that air travel is about to leave behind its century-old limitations and open up a new age where flying personal EV planes is as normal as driving to the grocery store. Affordable, clean, zero-emission air travel. For you, your family, and every generation after. Today's news isn't just news. It's the beginning of something that will make history books look outdated. And guess what? This is only the first reveal.